Hey everyone, Tragic the Garnering back again to open some more packs. Let's do Dominaria this time. Uh, I've got this box which was sitting around already open. Um, some draft that we did and need to just finish it off and see what's in it. And not looking for anything specific other than maybe a Teferi or maybe something else that's good. So let's just open them up and have fun. Dominaria, here we go. I did like this set. As you all know, I don't get to play much, so I just get to look at the fun cards. Let's see, we've got a Keldon Warcaller, a Healing Grace, a Deep Freeze, that's great. I haven't looked at this, all of this stuff really close. Caligo Skin Witch, Arbor Armament, a lot of War Elves, I like the new art. Solid, they look very menacing for some mana dorks. Thalid Omnivore. Whoops. Skittering Surveyor. Academy Drake. Seismic Shift. And the classic Sarah Angel. A Thalid Soothsayer. A Dreadshade, right? I forgot. Here's the rare. Which, uh, let's read it. So for three black, you get a shade creature. And then you pay a black. Oh, it's a 3-3, three, three, sorry. Pay a black. Dread shade gets 1-1 one, one until end of turn. The classic black creature mechanic there. And then the uncommon is a Rona, Disciple of Gix. Legendary, uncommon. So I think that's pretty cool. I wonder if there will ever be... Like a uncommon popper legendary format that will use those. So I think that'd be fun. Next pack. Here is a Benelish Honor Guard. Artificer's Assistant. Killed in War Collar again. Pierce the Sky. Rat Colony. Let's pull that one. Since we know it's a pretty good common. Eviscerate. Pardic Wanderer. Sapperling Migration, Jousting Lance, Run Amuck, and Goblin Warchief. Is that a good uncommon? I'm going to check it. Icy Manipulator. Great. I like that new art too. So I guess this will be the rare. Nope. So does that mean that the rare will be a legendary? So Thorn Elemental. Yeah. It's actually a mythic. Naru Miha. Master Wizard for two and two blue. Get a human wizard for it's three three. It's got flash. When Naru Miha Master Wizard enters the battlefield, copy target instant or sorcery spell you control. You may choose new targets for the copy. Other wizards you control get plus one plus one. Yeah. A pretty good wizard commander or not commander, captain, right? So get the feeling that's not a big one, but we're gonna check it out later anyway. And a sapling token. Here we go. Next pack. Knight of New Benalia. Deep Freeze. Skirk Prospector. Deavenant Trapper. Wind Grace Acolyte. Arbor Armament. Should I go quickly through the commons? I'm still trying to get my style down here. Right? Yavamaya Sap Herd. Keldon Overseer. Short Sword. Just a short sword. Nothing big. Vicious Offering. And a Chainer's Torment. I like these Saga cards. They are cool. Finally like the layout on on what they're what they've tried to do with the innovation on the the card layouts. I did not like the Amonkhet top side version or whatever they did there. These I like. Chainer's Torment. Gaia's Blessing. And then the rare. Nope. Goblin Barrage. So we get a, another, yep, the legendary is in that spot no matter what. Okay. Zahid, Jinn of the Lamp. Legendary creature, Jinn, 5-6. You may pay three in a blue and tap an untapped artifact you control rather than pay this spell's mana cost. And it's got flying. That seems doable. Yeah, I could see that. I Probably a nice limited card. I'm not sure. I don't know how to play. I've heard of this game. Let's see. We got 
Unknight and Ubinalia. A deep freeze again. We've seen a lot of those. Skirk Prospectors. Corrosive Ooze. Cabal Paladin. Rescue. Keldon Raider. Mesa Unicorn. What a nice looking unicorn. Aster Glider. Fungal Plots. That's the uncommon. Weight of Memory. Are we going to get a rare? Nope. We get an uncommon. Sorcerer's Wands. We actually get a legendary. Whoops. And it's a foil right there. The pack order is strange. Foil Charge. And a legendary rare. Kazarov Sengir Pureblade for five and two black. Legendary Vampire 4-4. Four, four. Flying. Whenever a creature and opponent controls is dealt damage, put a 1-1 one -one counter on Kazarov Singir Pure Blood for 3 and a red. Kazarov deals 2 damage to target creature. Get the impression that's not a good one either. Check it out later on the scanner. Oh, look at that. Looks like Seb McKinnon art. It is. Cleric token. Just straight up Nosferatu. Looks it's got very much notes of Rakdos there, doesn't it? That's very cool. All right, next up, Coldwater Snapper. <laughs> we'll just do two at once. A Fervent Strike, Dark Bargain, Croson Druid, Thalid Omnivore, Jousting Lance, Sapperling Migration, Blink of an Eye. That's cool looking. Seismic Shift, Avon Sentry, Amaranthine Wall. Very cool detail on that wall. A Zalfirin Void. It's one of the best kind of voids. And there's the rare Haphazard Bombardment. So five and a red. It's an enchantment. When Haphazard Bombardment enters the battlefield, choose four non-enchantment permits you don't control and put an aim counter on each of them. At the beginning of your end step, if two or more permits you don't control have an aim counter on them, destroy one of those permits at random. <sighs> Gosh. You flip it over for more instructions. Okay, and the legendary is a Shauna Sase's Legacy. It's an uncommon for green and a white. Shauna Sase's Legacy can't be the, the target of abilities your opponent. It's got Shroud. Wait, so it's hexproof. Why don't you just tell it that? Shanna gets 1 1 for each creature you control. Can't be the target of abilities your opponent control, not spells. Okay, so it's not hexproof. Interesting. Just abilities. Okay, so makes it not as good. Okay, there's a mountain and a sapling. Last pack, come on, I'm taking too much time here. Let's get to the packs. Get a charge, an arcane flight. Look at that flying cat. Warlord's Fury, Knight of New Benalia, Gift of Growth, Dark Bargain, Rescue, Keldon Raider, Mesa Unicorn, Memorial to Folly. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Sanctum Spirit. Are we going to get a rare here? Yeah, we get a Tempest Gin. I think this one's okay. For three blue, you get a Flying Gin, a zero four. Tempest Gin gets plus one for each basic island you control. Well, that's good for those basic island decks, right? And our legendary. Ooh, that's not a legendary, but it is a Foil Mishra's Self Replicator rare. It's for five. You get a Assembly Worker for two, two. Whenever you cast a historic spell, you may pay one. If you do, create a token that's a copy of Mishra's self-replicator. Cool. I'd, yeah, sure. Do some shenanigans with that. And you get an Ergaros, the Empty One. Legendary Spectre. Cool. All right. So let me scan these up. That's another good, good art on that card. I like that token. I love tokens. I think they're fun. All right. Scanning time. $0.21 cents. doesn't count. I'm taking everything that's under $0.50 cents off of this. Mishra's Self-Replicator. $0.56, cents, it'll stay. Okay, and the regular rares. Let's do a Tempest Gin. $3.21. Haphazard Bombardment. Under $0.50, cents. it will come back off. Kazarov Singer Pure Blade under 50 cents Zahid Jinn of the Lamp under 50 cents and a Naru wait we got two more Naru 
over 50 cents just barely and a dread shade under 50 cents so dominaria packs over 50 cents we end up with four cards totaling 509 so could have been better and i certainly will try again so i hope you will like and subscribe and watch my next video thank you very much